How's it going guys? Thanks for tuning in to a Disc Golf Crew video. Today we are going to be unboxing and setting up the Smile Mart Disc Golf Basket. I was looking for Disc Golf Baskets. I was trying to do some research on uh, you know, what was out there. Some of the bigger brands, Latitude, uh, Innova I think has some baskets, and a couple of the other big brands have baskets. Um, but a lot of those baskets are over $100, uh, 100, 150, some are even over $200. I found this one here by Smile Mart. And uh, the cool thing about this one is the price is only $59.99. I uh, got it from walmart.com. It came with free shipping. If I sound a little stuffy, it's because it's basically springtime here in Las Vegas. There's lots of pollen and my allergies are going crazy. If you hear some scratchy noises in the background, that's midnight. She's kind of itchy right now, so she's scratching a lot too. All right, so here's the basket. Whoa. And that thing just fell over. All right, so this is pretty much everything that's in the box. We got these chains right here. We got these two uh, poles that are gonna go up the middle part. Uh, this looks like it is the top of the basket. All right. And uh, this looks like this is the base of the basket. And this is the actual basket. It comes with a little flag, which is kind of cool. Uh, these other two uh, things here, these are ground stakes, so you can stake the basket to the grass so it doesn't move around in case it's windy. And these are some screws with an Allen key, which is great, which means you don't need any tools to put this together. Even better, fantastic. Do we need the instructions? Yeah, we probably should look at the instructions, huh? All right, let's check out the instructions. And Puff, she is chasing the reflection from my watch on the floor. She's kind of crazy. Anyways, all right, let's see how we put this thing together. So here's our base right here. Got our base. And there's a zip tie on here. I can probably use my knife to cut that. Okay, my guess is the longer of the two is gonna be the main part, the main bottom part, which is this here, which is wrong because the direction said there's two holes on the bottom. This one only has one hole. This one's got two holes. Okay. So this one is going to go on the bottom. This one's going to go on the bottom with the two holes. All right. So that goes in just like that. It's pretty tight already, but even without the screws in there, it is pretty tight. Now, normally I film these videos inside, but I uh, figured let's do it outside. It's a little warm today. It's not super hot outside. It's probably like, I don't know, in the high 70s maybe. So the basket goes like uh, goes like that. And that little hole just lines up right there. So that's cool. Okay, so we got our basket installed. We got our bottom post installed. So the next step is gonna be the top pole, which is this one here. Top pole is gonna go in here. Little hole pokes out like that. And so far, it is, this is, it's pretty heavy. Pretty sturdy too. I don't know if we're gonna really need the uh, the stakes for the ground because it is pretty sturdy. All right, and then the top part just goes like that. Check it out. Freaking A, that's cool. All right, and we got this little guy. He's the last screw we need. Last screw, it's gonna go right in there just like that. I uh, messed up. I messed up because I have to put on the chain before I put this stupid thing on. Okay, so let's go back a step. And let me take this off of here. This thing goes around the post like this. Then this thing goes on top. And then what you do is you take these chains. Let's see if I can do this. It's kind of a mess. I apologize if there's a lot of clinking and clanging going on. All right, we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it, maybe this is backwards, but this is probably gonna be easier. So I'm gonna do it this way. Okay. And hopefully this works out. So far it's looking pretty good. All right, there we go, just like that. All right, perfect, check it out. We've got our chain set up. All right, now we can thread this over the top, slide this down on there like that. Perfect. All right, so we got that last one in. All right, guys, so that is it. That's the basket fully assembled, minus the flag on top. Bam, check it out. And it's done, just like that. It's fully assembled. Uh, we probably built that in about, what, five minutes, and then didn't take too long at all. 
it's like I said, it does come with garden stakes. So if you live somewhere where it's a little bit windy, um, the garden stakes may be, you know, helpful to you. But this basket is pretty solid, not gonna lie. For 60 bucks, uh, you're gonna save $100. And I don't see enough of a difference, you know, for it, for me to spend the extra money. I don't know about you, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we're gonna move this over here like this. I'm gonna grab a disc and we'll try it out. Uh, I know when people putt, a lot of times they like to just kind of throw it in there really hard. So let's see if this thing will catch. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh, missed that one. That's not good. And I missed that one too. Jeez Louise. Well, that's why I bought the basket so I can practice because my putting sucks. For the video, make a long putt. All right, got to work on my form, but let's see what we got. That's pretty good. This one here. That one was off. That one was off. So my putting is not that good, but the basket's working pretty good. If you're someone who is new to disc golf and you're looking to uh, step your game up, I would definitely say get one of these so you can practice uh, your putting and your throwing at home. Um, if you're someone who's advanced and maybe you're an advanced disc golf player, get one of these. These are, like I said, the quality is really good. I think you're gonna be impressed with what you get. Um, I was expecting something a lot more cheap and flimsy. These chains could be heavier, um, but with the type of gauge steel you're getting here, these chains are probably appropriate for this because if you had heavier ones, it might weigh it down and make it a little wobbly. It's pretty stable. Um, but again, it does come with the ground stakes if you want to, um, you know, a little more sturdy uh, base. You know, you can hammer those stakes in and get it uh, down uh, to the ground. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about the basket, uh, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified every time we put out a new video. And if you're interested in any of our cool Disc Golf Crew swag, like some cool t-shirts and stuff like that, head over to discgolfcrew.com. We have some really cool original designs as far as t-shirts, we have towels, we have other cool accessories for the disc golf players uh, or the disc golf player in your life. So uh, like I said, head over to discgolfcrew.com, free shipping with orders over $40. All right, so until the next video, I will see you guys later. See ya.